Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at how to measure DC current by using this module. This is ACS712 and it is 30 amperes capable. And today in this setup, we have used these high watt LEDs, each consuming 5 watt, 5 watt of power at 12 volts DC. And here you can see I have attached this ACS712 module in series with this multimeter configured as an ammeter that is capable of measuring current. So now let me run the MicroPython script and uh, I will show you the readings both in the MicroPython shell and in the multimeter. First let me run the MicroPython script. Okay, so initially it is giving us fluctuating reading because of the fluctuating magnetic field in the surrounding and because of any magnetic field that is generating because of these conductors and uh, this can be taken into care by using proper sensor calibration and errors. So let me connect this wire to the multimeter to complete the circuit. Okay, so as you can see that these these two loads are running at full brightness. Let me now focus on the multimeter. It is 0 0.6. This is set to 10 ampere max. So yeah, you are getting values of 0 0.63, 0 0.64 amperes. And from the screen, you can see that we are getting 0 0.67, 0 0.65, 69, 66. 0 0.81, 0 0.63, 0 0.74 and these values values are pretty much accurate. From multimeter you can see you are getting a constant 0 0.67 amperes of current consumption and uh, from the python shell you can see it is 0 0.7, 0 0.6 so a value very much closer to it. Okay, now you can see it is 0 0.7 in the multimeter and it is 0 0.72 in the Python console. So you can say that the values are pretty much accurate for most of the DIY purposes. So this is the demonstration and I will now tell you about the micro Python code and the circuit diagram. So this is the circuit diagram for the ACS712 current sensor. Here is the external battery and here is the load. We have placed this sensor in series with the external battery and you can see the connections over here and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the Raspberry Pi Pico's ground pin so as to create a common reference point, a reference ground point at this point and this is given to the ground of the sensor. The VCC of the sensor is connected to the 5 volt VBUS of the Raspberry Pi Pico and whenever there is 1 ampere of current flowing through the sensor in this external circuit, the V out will create a potential difference of 66 millivolt as per the specification of this 30 ampere sensor. So we have taken the output of the sensor and we have given it to a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer and the output of the potentiometer is given to the GPIO number 28 which is an analog input. So why we have used this potentiometer is because the sensor will output voltage from 0 to 5 volt and this Raspberry Pi Pico is a 3.3 volt system and since we do not want to damage the input pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico therefore we have used this potentiometer as a voltage divider so as to have a maximum of 3.3 volt at the output on GPIO number 28. Now the sensor is designed in such a way that when no current is flowing the sensor will output 2.5 volt that is exactly half of the VCC. So suppose there is no current flowing so this yellow wire will be at 2.5 volts and this potentiometer is set in such a way 
that the output which we get here is equal to 1.65 volt and 1.65 is equal to half of 3.3 volts. So this is the basic setup and now let us look at the MicroPython script. So this is the MicroPython script. You import the required libraries and define a constant that is millivolt per ampere. It is equal to 66 for the 30 ampere sensor and these values are for other sensors of 20 ampere and 5 ampere. This is analog reference 3.3 volt. Default output voltage is 3.3 divided by 2. Because the sensor's VCC is at 5 volt, but a voltage divider is created by the use of an external potentiometer which will give a voltage equal to 1.65 volt when the sensor's output pin is at 2.5 volt. So that is like a voltage level converter of 2.5 volt to 1.65 volt. Now you have to define the analog input pin at GPIO 28. Now this is the main logic of the program. First you read the analog value by using this function read underscore u16. So it will be reading the analog values on this analog input pin. Now you have to calculate the sensor's output voltage from the raw analog input. So sensor's voltage is equal to this analog value divided by the maximum range of the ADC at 16 bit resolution and multiply with the analog reference voltage. Now convert this voltage into millivolts. You have to multiply this with 1000 but before that you have to subtract this default output voltage. Now you have to calculate the current from the sensor voltage. From data sheet it is given that for 30 ampere sensors when 1 ampere of current is flowing in the external circuit 66 millivolt will be produced in the output pin. So DC current is equal to whatever sensor voltage you are getting in millivolts you divide it with the millivolt per ampere constant minus some steady state error if your sensor is constantly producing some steady state error. Now give some time delay and print DC current is equal to this variables value and then add the unit and in the last set the DC current to zero. So this is the end of the MicroPython script and I will upload the code in the description and thank you very much for watching the video.